welcome to the channel welcome to the channel welcome to the channel kings and queens this is hbcu kingdom i am your host no in situation now i would like to say thank you guys to the people that view my channel please leave a comment on what i could do to make the channel better now i i kind of understand why i went wrong why you couldn't leave a comment i was putting it in the kids section of youtube so i'm gonna fix that problem i would like for you guys to subscribe like and leave a comment to the channel today we're going to be talking about none other than homer jones from texas southern university in houston texas third ward of houston texas to be exact right down the street from the university of houston yes so we have we got two universities in the same area in houston um so texas southern actually came about you know the way a lot of hbcus came about um because of race they didn't want us to attend their university and colleges so we had to basically come up with a way to further educate ourselves that's how a lot of the hbcus uh came up so texas southern is actually one of the largest and the most comprehensive hbcus in the nation they have 10,000 students enrolled in over 100 academic programs. Texas Southern is a member school of the Third Good Marshall College Fund. It also serves as a notable economic resource for Greater Houston, contributing $500 million to the region growth sales and being responsible for 3,000 jobs. So, in 1927, the HISD board resolved to establish a junior college for each race as the state was racially segregated in all public facilities. So, what they did, they came up with two colleges, Houston Junior College, which later became University of Houston, and Houston Colored Junior College, which later became Texas Southern. So, Houston Colored Junior College, uh, their first classes was actually held at Jack Yates High School. That's a great high school in Houston. So, <clears throat> now what happened in 1947, I'm sorry, 1946, a guy by the name of Herman Sweat applied to go to the University of Texas Law School, but he was denied because of his race. So, he decided to sue the University of Texas Law School. So the state had no law schools for African Americans at that time and African American apply and he get denied. So what they did was they made several offers to Mr. Sweat because they didn't want that on their record, you know, which is a law school. Everybody should be able to go to a law school because Everyone need lawyers, you know, when they get in trouble or they're suing somebody or something is wrong. Everyone needs lawyers. So with that being a law school and a black guy apply to the law school, he gets denied. That's going to be a blemish on their record. So they didn't want that. So they actually came up with several offers. Uh, so some of the leaders sat down and decided that the offers that they came up with we're not going to work. You know, that's not what they wanted. So they turned around and came up with something else. They're going to create a school for African-Americans to go to, which actually became Texas State University for Negroes. So with that being said, in 1947, they began, they began actually funding the school. And it was the first university to be located in Houston. So we're going to be talking about Homer Jones here. Homer Jones was actually a track and field runner. You know, he did two sports, track and field and football. But he was drafted in 1963, round 20. Picked 278. He was drafted by the hometown team Houston Oilers. But... He suffered a knee injury in training camp, and they cut him. So, when he had his knee injury, he got cut. Then he turned around and was picked up by the New York Giants. 
he had a productive career with the New York Giants. Homer Jones was actually the first person to score a kickoff return touchdown in Monday Night Football history. He was also the first person to do a TD spike in NFL history. So, in 1967, Homer Jones had his best season. He averaged 24.7 yards per catch and scored 13 touchdowns, leading the NFL in receiving touchdowns. So, Homer Jones had a pretty good career. You know, he scored 38 touchdowns overall. 36 receiving, one rushing, and one kick return. And I do have a video of some of Homer Jones highlights. I would like for you guys to comment, subscribe, share the channel. I only want to get better. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Until next time, see you guys.